joining me again today. I am going to be comparing two palettes, Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina and the Too Faced Chocolate Gold. So let's get started and see how these two compare. Okay, so first of all, here's the packaging. You can see they both have the color names on the back and they're pretty, just your standard packaging. Of course, this has the um, gold on it, so kind of cool. Then if we open it, now the Anastasia, they're pretty in line with price points. This one is $42, and the Too Faced Chocolate Bar is $49. So pretty comparable. And here is the size difference. The, again, the size is pretty comparable as well. The Too Faced is thicker. The, let's see, they're both cruelty free and they both have 14 shadows in them. There is a little bit more shadow per, um, or let's just start over, okay. <laughs> the Anastasia is 0 0.2 ounce each of the shadows. And as you can see, they're all the same size. We're in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar you do have a couple that are bigger. These are 0.03 ounce for the regular size shadows. And then those two larger shadows is 0.42 ounce. So pretty comparable. The mirror is a little bit, oh, you can see my filming there, is a little bit bigger on the Too Faced. With Anastasia, you do get a brush, double-ended brush. With Too Faced, you do not get a brush. And just in general, when you look at the colors, I've used these pretty much the same amount of times. And you can see that this palette is still pretty clean, not a lot of fallout. I've left the Anastasia how it shows. I haven't like blowed off any of the fallout. So you can see there is, it definitely gets a little bit dirtier. Um, there are a little bit softer and more powdery in general. So that's kind of an overview of the difference. And so what I would say today on my eyes, I have on the right eye, I have Anastasia, and on the left eye, I have the Too Faced. And I wanted to show, since both of these palettes have both mattes and glitters, shimmers, I wanted to show that you don't have to do a shimmery look with these. You can do kind of a natural everyday look if you wanted to. So this is what I have on today. I have about three colors, I think it is. And as you can see, this has been on for quite a few hours, but it's just, you know, a nice natural look. And again, so on this eye is Anastasia, and this eye is Too Faced. And then the other day, I also did the same thing in comparing. I will insert a picture of what those eyes look like. Because I used some of the glitter in that yesterday. And my finding was that with using an eyeshadow primer on both of them, I used the same type of brush, the same application, and I got as close as I could to each color that was very similar, which I will do some swatchings to compare the colors. But I did find that the Anastasia has more fallout, especially the glitter. Uh, you know, I had glitter all under my eye when I was doing the Anastasia. Um, they are more, I would say, when you're putting them on, if you're doing a dark color and a light color, the Anastasia is a little bit more pigmented as far as you can see a definite, you know, difference in where you put each color. So when you blend, you can kind of see the difference in colors a little bit more where the Too Faced kind of seems to blend together more so, if that makes sense. So, um, okay, I have my notes here. I just want to make sure I don't forget anything. But overall, when I got, after I blended and got everything in, I was surprised to find that I actually thought the Too Faced was more pigmented. When I used the Anastasia by itself, and just the first, you know, impressions and when I was using it, I thought for sure that I would think that that was more pigmented, so it really surprised me. And throughout the day, at the end of the day, like, so when I put them on, I felt like before you blend, you can see the difference in shades 
more so in the Anastasia. But then after you blend them, the Too Faced was more pigmented. But by the end of the night, I felt like at the end of the night, the Anastasia still had the most pigmentation um, at the end of the night. So it's more long wearing, I would say, but if you're not needing to have it long wearing, the Too Faced is more pigmented. So hopefully that makes sense and hopefully that helps you out if you're debating between the two. And if you are debating between these two, I would say, you know, when I looked at this, I thought, oh, you know, that has more matte colors because the bottom row is all matte, the top is shimmers. And when you look at this one, you have some matte colors over here, but it seems like most of them are shimmers. But some of these shimmer colors, when you put them on, it's not like a pop, you know, of glitter or so strong that you couldn't wear them every day. Where I feel like the glitters here, as you can see, they're pretty, some of them are pretty powdery and more soft. I feel like this is a chunkier glitters and shimmers than the Too Faced. They're more kind of a smooth on your lid. So my recommendation personally for me as a person who, I'm not a makeup artist, you know, I wear pretty neutral looks most of the time. I would say for just general like everyday looks, I would recommend, surprisingly, when I looked, like I said, when I looked at the palette, but I would actually recommend the Too Faced Chocolate Gold because, like I said, this, these all not all these shimmers are just pow glitter. So for every day, I would recommend the Too Faced. I think that the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm really happy that I have this in my collection and I will definitely be using it, but I would say that this is more for if you kind of want to work at your eyes as far as if you want a glitter and you want to use kind of glitter glue and just kind of, you know, you want to make sure you clean up the fallout. Not that this takes that much longer, but I'm just saying that the Too Faced, I didn't have fallout. I could just put it on, blend it in real quick, and I was good to go. Where this, I had to blend a little bit more and I definitely had to clean up with the fallout. The glitter was kind of more chunky, so I had to kind of smooth it out. So I think that the Anastasia is definitely good for more dramatic looks. Not that you couldn't like, because like I said today, I have that on and it's an everyday look. But to really take advantage of that top row, I think that you will be a person who wants to do dramatic looks, maybe more Instagram, or just kind of really want to work and you kind of have to play with the glitters and see you know how to apply them so I hope that that helps I think that the Anastasia is good it's good quality it's high pigmented lasts long but I feel like if you want to take advantage of the glitters which at this point price point I feel like if you're buying these palettes you want to be able to use most of the colors that you just it takes a little bit more time and a little bit more playing around with them where this one the Too Faced I feel like you can just open it up and even though the colors kind of look shimmery and a little bright, they're not as intimidating, I guess you'd say, because they just kind of seem to blend together. And um, so I, for what it's worth, I feel like that's what, you know, every day go with the Too Faced if you want to kind of try more daring looks, maybe not that you couldn't get daring looks with this. I don't want to say that this is just a boring palette or anything, but the glitters, shimmer palettes, Shimmer, Shadows, and Anastasia are definitely more of a chunky glitter and you're gonna have fallout. So hopefully that helps if you're trying to decide because I know I heard a lot about them and since they're in the same price point, I was like, well, I don't know which one I really want, which one is better for me. So hopefully that helps. If you're debating between the two and you have any other questions that I didn't answer, feel free to put them down below and I will try to give you my answer. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the colors that I feel are very similar between the two palettes so you can see the difference. Okay, so we have Roman and a Doe. So that's a pretty basic one. And the color that I feel like is equivalent over here is called Base. And then I also use, let's see, Incense. Oops, the third color here. I thought that was similar to the cocoa, cocoa Truffle. 
this one. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch those two. Okay, so we're going to do Anastasia. So this is the base. And then rolling in the dough too faced. So I'd say that those are pretty, pretty close. You get a little more coverage with the Anastasia. It definitely feels softer when you do put it on. But again, okay, so this is after I went in. You can see there's no powder, no fallout here. And this is after going in here. So you can see there is some powdery. Is that focused? Yeah, some powder there. Okay, so next I'm gonna do the incense color. I want to get out a makeup wipe and wipe off my fingers so I don't have any color still on it. Okay, so then we have incense. This is the Anastasia, and then cocoa truffle. So again, Anastasia in Too Faced. So I feel like you can pretty much achieve kind of the same look with those two. In the pan, when you, into the touch, the Anastasia is more velvety. Okay, then the next colors that I thought was similar that I used yesterday was the lot Living Lavish, this purple color, to Drama, this color at the end. Okay, so we'll do, that's the Drama and the Living Lavish. Okay, so there you can see, I feel like that one has a little bit of a difference because this one, I feel like this the Too Faced is purple, but it's kind of got more brown undertones, and this one is kind of a deeper plum. But as you can see, you know, you can, if you're looking, you can kind of create a similar look. Okay, then the next ones, I'm going to wipe my hands here, that I thought was similar is, so we did Live in Lashes. The Classy and Sassy from Too Faced is this color right here compared to, yeah, the Rose Gold. And as you can see, this is probably the most, the powder, the one that's the softest in this palette and that you kind of have to kind of be careful at because it will crumble a little bit. But man, when you touch it, it is just so velvety soft. Okay, so again, this is Rose Gold Anastasia, and then we're going to do classic, Classy and Sassy from the Too Faced. So yeah, they're not exactly, I mean, these aren't an exact um, copy or anything, but you can kind of build this one up, you know, to layer it a little bit more. Obviously, this one is a little more of your kind of pink and I don't know if it's showing on camera but you can kind of see like right there you kind of have to smooth it out more because it is more chunky than the Too Faced. And then the, the Too Faced if you do want to use a black for eyeliner or something this one does have a black on it. The Anastasia one does not have a black so that is a difference as well. So I hope that gives you an idea of the differences between the two if you were Kind of weighing which ones you want. I hope that that does help. If it does, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see, I did do full review videos on each of these where I swatched every color and went into more of the history of the company. I will link those down below so you can watch those if you would like. And yes, I hope that you uh, like this video. I enjoyed doing it. I think it's an interesting thing to see really the comparison side by side and how they wear. So I definitely am going to do more of these videos. I did mascara comparison last month and I'll just be calling them Battle Of and have a playlist for that because I do want to keep comparing. For me personally, I like to see really what are the differences between products. So I hope that you enjoyed it 
and thanks for watching.